Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Today, Apple has dropped iOS and iPadOS 13.5 Beta 3 to register developers, as well as WatchOS 6.2.5 Developer Beta 3. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course, updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot; it's very appreciated. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Yes, you heard me correctly, Apple has switched from iOS 13.4.5 to iOS 13.5. This is the first .5 milestone update we have ever seen in iOS. This update is significantly bigger as well. This update came in at 259.7 megabytes on my iPhone 11, 172.9 megabytes on my iPad Pro 10 and a half inch, 180.1 megabytes on my iPhone 7, and 178.8 megabytes on my iPhone SE first generation. The build number for this release is 17F5054H, indicating that we will see more betas. This update includes more bug fixes and improvements, as well as the first iteration of Apple and Google's COVID-19 Exposure Notification API, which explains the bigger file sizes. Now we can also assume that this update fixes some security vulnerabilities as well. This update did not include a modem firmware update, meaning that any issues you may have had with Wi-Fi or cellular connectivity have not been fixed. So far, iOS 13.5 has proven itself to be a vital release. Here's what we know so far. iOS 13.5 fixes the notorious text message crash affecting almost every iOS and iPadOS user. This message will cause any iPhone to crash and force restart. iOS 13.5 has also been fairly decent on battery life, so I hope this means we'll see a fix. Especially for iPhone 7 users, as battery drain and overheating has been consistent throughout iOS 13. Now, performance hasn't changed at all, which is a good thing, as I have not had any issues. Now iOS 13.5 does address a mail vulnerability which allows an attacker to remotely infect an iPhone and gain control over their inbox without the target user's knowledge. Of course, stay tuned for my full review of iOS 13.5 Beta 3 on the iPhone 7 and iPhone SE first generation coming later this week and early next week. Now let's talk about watchOS. watchOS 6.2.5 Beta 3 has been released alongside of iOS and iPadOS 13.5 Developer Beta 3. This watchOS update came in at 84.7 megabytes on my Apple Watch Series 1. This is fairly small and we can expect bug fixes and possibly security patches, but no new major features. Now of course I will have a full review of watchOS 6.2.5 Developer Beta 3 on the Apple Watch Series 1 coming early next week, so stay tuned. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.